Hey, everybody. It's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cent Sport Card Adventures. How we doing, everybody? Oh, I recuperated from the show and the kitchen table box break. Back-to-back -back deals. Uh, I want to give you a little report on both, but we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff today. We got prizes. We got card show pickups. A lot of card show pickups we're going to show you. Uh, card show report. And we're going to open up this 2021 Goodwin Champions for a change. I picked this box up for $10. $10 I got that for. So we're going to see what we get out of here for $10. <laughs> All right. But first thing we're going to do, the prizes. All right. Where's the, Where's my box here? Oh, geez. Okay. So we'll do prizes first so I don't forget. All right. Here we go. First out of the box thing. And all you got to had to do is comment on the last video and be a subscriber, and you have a chance for one of these prizes. We have first out of the box today gets the 2021-22 Don Russ Basketball Pack. Second out of the box gets the Prism USA Basketball Charles Barkley insert. Third out of the box is going to get the Don Russ Optic Hall Kings, Dennis Robin. And fourth out of the box is going to get the Mosaic Jam Master Tracy McGrady. All right, let's get our box here. We got a lot of comments in there. We got a lot of things going on, a lot of tickets. We're going to mix hand mix them first, and then we'll mix them up. All right, here we go. All right, okay. All right, good luck to everybody. We're going for the pack first. Okay, I got like three tickets in my hand. Hold on. Here comes one. Here comes one. Oh, God is great. God is great. Ken, he won a little. He won a week or two ago, too. He's on a hot streak. <laughs> All right, Ken got that one. Charles Barkley. All right. Here it comes. Meta... Medicine Man? I think that's it. Medicine Man. I think he's new. I don't have your address. So... Uh, if you want to send your address to my email, sportspg at AOL.com, S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G at AOL.com. And if I don't hear from you, I'll message you. Send me your address, and I'll send this off to you, Charles Barkley. Plus, uh, let me know what your favorite teams are, and I'll send you some extras. All right. We got the Dennis Rodman. So you never know. The new guys win once in a while. All right. Let's see. Could be anybody coming out of the box here. Here we go. Oh, Sean Sabara. Sean. Hey, Sean. I'm going to send him some more Royals. He likes the Royals. All right. And the, oh, a lot of people like this card. I ended up with like three of them. Jam Master. All right. Tracy McGrady. Jeez, I got like four tickets in my hand here. I got to cut it down to one. Oh, sport card ripping teacher. Oh, I got to find another couple books for the library for the school. <laughs> All right, sport card ripping teacher. He's getting a package there. All right, we're going to go not to the card show pickups first. I got a couple shout outs. So, oh, first, yeah, okay, my first shout out. I got a new channel on my featured channels down below. Pastor Ken Breaks. Check him out. He's just starting off brand new. Only got one video on here. But he, I think that was a Bowman Platinum box I think he opened. But he just uh, won a box. Uh, he's part of my kitchen table box break crew. And Julie is too. And Julie was here last night because he won the 700 subscriber thing from Julie and got a, a hobby box of, uh, I think it was Upper Deck uh, hockey, so he's going to be doing that one next. So check him out. Very nice guy on there, Pastor Ken's Breaks. Uh, he'll be read out right on my featured channels, and he's got cats too, like Julie. He's got Serendipity over there, <laughs> who visits the card shop. I've seen I've seen Serendipity at the, at the card shop. <laughs> so check him out. Also, oh, I don't know if you guys heard, BCS Sports Cards. He's another one of my featured channels. I won one of his subscriber contests. And I got a good prize. And it looks like he sent it to me here. Now, I've been having this problem too, BCS, and every, anybody else that's listening. Uh, 
I, I pack it nice in an envelope. I put extra postage on it for the post office. And the package comes back mangled. Look at this here. Now, he, he packed it good, I can tell. But do not bend, he puts. Do not bend. He paid 92 cents for it. And they still bent it, and it's ripped. I... I tell you, I found that if you send it in an envelope, you actually got to put the paper in there or cardboard and you got to tape it to that. Because I've had a couple people show me, look at it, on the end, it's all open, right? I had a couple people tell me where the end, show me where the end is open. Looks like somebody tried to steal the cards almost, but if they're taped in, it takes them longer and maybe they, people are watching. So the post office has gone downhill, I'm telling you. So anyway... Thanks a lot, BCS. And we're going to open it up right here. He's on my feature channels down below. Check him out. He's got great channel down there. Opens up stuff. Nice. Shows you stuff. Does TTMs. Yes, this is the way you got to do it. He's got it. He's got the same way. He's got it taped in a piece of paper and folded up. All right. Otherwise, they, they're going to steal it. I don't know. If, I don't know whether it's try, theft or just stupid that, I mean, nope, somebody bent that up. All right. Oh, wow. He sent me some nice stuff right away, I can tell. <laughs> gotta unpack it. Oh, we gotta unpack it up here. Let's see. If you hear a little noise, I mean, this is sort of soundproof, this booth, but my neighbor next door is doing a major outside renovation. He's not that close, but they got loud machines over there working. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Yesterday he had a tarp over the whole house. I guess they thought maybe, uh, oh, you know why? Maybe they, they don't want to get involved with the, we had the eclipse yesterday, right? So if they're there working this way, if there's a tarp all around the work spot, they don't they don't see the sun. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. We didn't have nothing over here. I didn't, I didn't buy any of those glasses or nothing. We were working. So uh, I... Uh, I had some cousins buy the glasses and they were kind of disappointed because basically it just got like a little dark, like if a, a rainstorm was coming or something. I, we're going to have rain, I think, on Thursday. There's gonna, it's going to be darker on Thursday than it was for the eclipse. Here, let me open this up here. Oh, and, oh, so I'm just seeing this stuff now, but I seen this already. So he had a nice subscriber contest, BCS did. And like I said, he's down below. And I won first place. I got lucky for a change. And I won a beautiful card. It's a Topps tribute, uh, tribute to the MVPs. Numbered out of 50. And this guy always has a beautiful autograph. Andre Dawson. I won. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice one. Thanks very much, BCS. I, that's a nice one. All right. Oh, boy, he sent me some Yankees. <laughs> they got a nice big league Austin Wells. They got a stars of the MLB Aaron Judge. Oh, I, you know, I, I any Yankee cards I'd like. Oh, this is nice. This is like the comic book one. Aaron Judge. Look at that. And then he also sent me Babe Ruth. Oh, Yogi. My two favorites coming up. Yogi. And of course, Derek Jeter. Well, geez, thank you very much, BCS. And that was a great contest. We got to get you some more subs. Yep. So go down there. Pastor Ken's Breaks, BCS. Two nice channels and uh, pretty pretty new down there. And sub them up. They got great content. All right. So, oh, now we're going to go to, sorry, card show, show pickups. Wow. This might be a little longer video because I got a lot of stuff. So... I uh, didn't have a chance to go around the show too much other than the video. If you guys saw the last video, it was a nice show. Uh, so I bought from the right of me and the left of me and a, a one customer. And that's about it. So, But it's still a lot of stuff. Now, keep in mind, I paid $135 for all this stuff. Let me un unlasting band it. That my total bill for all this stuff came to $135, which is going to be hard to believe. I know it. Let me break it up a little bit here. But uh, that's the story. <laughs> that there. All right. So, okay. 
All right, here we go. $135 for everything. Uh, geez, when you're talking especially football, you can't buy a hobby box for $135, I don't think. Not the new stuff. So here we go. We got a rated rookie of Cooper Cup. We got a Chronicles Clear Vision Tua rookie. We got a Select Tua rookie. We got an Absolute Joe Burrow rookie. We got a Chronicles Luminance Joe Burrow rookie. We got another Absolute Joe Burrow rookie. We got a Prison Emergent rookie of Trevor Lawrence. Let me pile this up over here because this pile is going to get high. <laughs> we got a uh, Chronicle Panini Justin Herbert rookie. We got, I, I picked this up. It's an autograph. It's not a good autograph. But for what I got it for, it was in somebody's dollar box. I got a, a Contenders Jabril Cox a rookie autograph. Look at that. That's a lousy autograph, though. Ain't it? How do you get that? Boy, I, I get paid a lot of money, and I do like that for my autograph. That's crazy. I got a uh, Chronicle Gridiron King Joe Burrow rookie. Got a Green Parallel Chronicle Luminance Jalen Hurts rookie. I got another Select Tua rookie. We got a Chronicles Legacy Chrome Trevor Lawrence rookie. Got a Chronicle Gridiron King Joe Burrow rookie. Got a Chronicle Gridiron King Pink Tua rookie. Oh, that's a nice one. We got an Illusions Trevor Lawrence rookie. Oh, we got some baseball. We got a uh, Tops Update Julio Rodriguez rookie. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie. Jeremy Pena rookie. Got a nice uh, Bowman Platinum insert uh, Jason Dominguez. He's coming back from the Yankees. Got a nice Mojo uh, Refractor from Bowman Chrome Gunnar Henderson rookie. Got a Bowman Platinum Jeremy Pena rookie. Got a Bowman James Outman rookie. Got a Bowman Platinum Rookies insert Bobby Witt Jr. I thought this was a nice looking card. It was a ice uh, Eloy Jimenez numbered out of 250. We got a Mojo Refractor uh, rookie card of Alex Kuroloff. Got a Topps Chrome James Outman rookie. Got a Topps Chrome Sepia Refractor James Outman rookie. Got a Purple Parallel Don Russ Rated rookie of Alex Killeroff. We got a Bowman Chrome rookie autograph number to $4.99. It looks like, yeah, $4.99 of Andres Munoz. Got a Bowman Platinum Spencer Torkelson rookie. And we got a Bowman Platinum Julio Rodriguez rookie. And that's only the half of it. <laughs> There's more coming. All right, <clears throat> let's see. We got a nice uh, Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. We got a Jordan Walker Bowman prospect. We got a nice... Uh, Oh, this is the anniversary rookie card of Oswaldo Peraza. We got a Bowman Josh Jung rookie. Oh, he's an old one, a 1978 Willie McCovey. Not too much vintage at all. This is a nice Topps Chrome rookie card of O'Neill Cruz. We got a first Bowman card of Nick Castellanos. We got a Topps Gold rookie card of James Outman. 
You got a Bowman Chrome, Jason Dominguez. We got a Bowman, this says rookie card, right? 2017. Juan Soto rookie. Look at that. We got the Bowman Ellie De La Cruz rookie. We got the Bowman Jason Dominguez. Oh, this was nice. It's a refractor. Nah, yeah, it's a refractor. Wow. We got the Bowman Chrome Anthony Volpe refractor. That's from uh, 2022. Yeah. Oh, I like these cards. This, this is an unleashed uh, purple fireworks of Novelli Marte. We got a Bowman Chrome Josh Jung. <clears throat> We got a extreme team from Absolute, number 99, a Trey Turner. Oh, uh, here's one of my, when I used to watch college basketball back in the day, one of my favorites, ABA All-Star, Artis Gilmore. He was one of my favorites back in the day. We got a Don Russ uh, rookie card of Jamal Murray. So we got a vanity plate. I like I like these cards. We got a vanity the vanity plate of Luca. And then on the back, uh, it was a vanity plate foil of Devin Booker. We got a uh, this is one of them green parallel, I forget what they call them. Laser, lasers. Shea Giglius Alexander. We got a prism hyped insert of Joel Embiid. Oh, this was nice. The uh, Mojo Refractor Julio Rodriguez rookie. That's nice. We got a little bit of hockey. We got a Mike Richter rookie. We got a Jerry Curry. That's from uh, 88 89. We got a Mark Messier from the same year. I just picked this one up. I thought it was called cool. Bobby Orr from Goodwin Champions. We got uh, the NHL All-Star Wayne Gretzky. That's from uh, 89. We got an Ed Belfour rookie. A Nikolai Kalabulin rookie. We got a Matt Sundin rookie. We got a Ray Bork from 88-89. We got a first team all-star, Larry Robinson from 77-78. Watch out, that stack got too big, it just fell. <laughs> $135 for everything, mind you. And we're not done yet. I got a, uh, I always like these cards, the holographics from Upper Deck. Caldor Trophy winner, this is an Ed Bell for. I don't know if you can see it, he's... Kind of tough to see. Uh, okay, all right. So here's uh, probably the three biggest cards I bought. From a, a guy was walking around. There was a couple guys walking around, you know, maybe like five selling stuff. But as usual, they wanted like full eBay. And they weren't cards I liked. Not that I didn't like them, but they weren't cards I, I keep. So... I, if it's a card I keep, maybe I'll spend the full eBay. But uh, I, otherwise, I gotta make a, I gotta make something. I gotta pay Luke. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this was a nice. This, so this was the one guy that was reasonable, uh, and he came around and he had, he still had three cards and I bought them because he was actually reasonable. And uh, this is a 2002 Topps Chrome Archives numbered out of ten Jeff Conine autograph. You guys that follow me know I like these archive autographs. So, and they actually sell pretty good. There's people collecting them. I'm not a Jeff Conine fan or nothing like that. If that was a Yankee, I'd probably keep it. But Jeff Conine's going to go on eBay. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, this guy here is a good pitcher, but he don't really sell for a lot of money. But it's a nice card. We got a five-star rookie autograph of Christian Javier. I don't know what it goes for, but you know, I know I got it at a real good price. And then I got a great, I won, I bought one graded card. It's a 2019 Tops, uh, Fernando Tatis rookie, and it's graded a 10 from SGC, right? Yeah, SGC. There you go. And that's 
my card show pickups. Let me have a little drink of something. <laughs> oh, boy. Excuse me. So, the singles are still out there at good prices. You know, uh, I quibbled on <coughs> a little bit on the last three cards. The guy wasn't that high, but I don't want to pay too much on him. So I, 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 I counted a little bit lower. I think maybe 10 bucks lower and he went for it, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's for $135. Let's put it this way. I tried to buy a box of even baseball. Stadium Club Hobby, and I couldn't get it for one thirty-five. And look what all I got for one thirty-five. I'd probably have to open. It'd be nice five boxes of that stuff to get this kind of stuff, you know. So, I mean, uh, and and probably not won't even get that kind of stuff. So, I like the singles. I like to open my packs once in a while, and I got my ten-dollar Goodwin Champions box, which I'm gonna have fun with, you know. And I got a chance of getting something. You never know. So, uh, but otherwise, I mean, well, we did get some. We opened, in that video we opened was a Hoops Premium uh, from 1920, Premium Stock uh, Blaster. I got an autograph. So you got, you got a chance of getting autographs out of this stuff, you know. So, but anyway, uh, we're going to go right to card show reports. All right. So it's always a nice show up there up at the Independence Firehouse in Freedom Township. And Don that runs it is a great guy. Uh, I rec recommend that anybody who wants to do a nice show, it's a nice show with a nice crowd. Uh, had about 30 tables. Uh, and he probably had about 150 people come through the room, you know, which is not bad when you only got 30 tables, you know. So, uh, and, and the people are there, you know, and they're very nice people. I know a lot of them. You know, a lot of them are old customers of mine because when I, I put this, uh, when I do a show, I put it out on Facebook and stuff and people come and sometimes that's the only time I see them again. So, uh, I mean, that show there is only twice a year and a lot of, I had a lot of people come from up there uh, or out West, you know, and, uh, well, we had people coming from, from out of state. I mean, we had the best store in New Jersey. So, uh, they, uh, and I'm trying to be modest. <laughs> I was told that a few times. That's why I say that. But anyway, uh, so uh, it's a lot of fun seeing everybody and catching up, you know. Uh, and they do come to those. And now I'm going to be doing another show up in that area in May. Uh, my buddy Pete, he's doing a show. Uh, it's actually underneath a pavilion, so it's almost outside. And it's going to be, I think it's May 20th. No, May 19th, sorry. May 19th. That's, that's going to be a double header. I'm going to do a show on the 18th, Sobbies, <laughs> which I'm going to do every month until, you know, January comes. I, I skip the winter. Uh, and then his is the next day, so at least I don't have to unpack. So that's good. Uh, but Pete's has it underneath the pavilion. He's going to have three autograph guests, uh, Ron Bloomberg, uh, Art Shamsky, and Mickey Rivers. And then he's going to have prof actual professional wrestling over there. So it should be fun. Then he's got some kind of TV actor. I can't remember the guy's name. And and Nolan Petey might have more by the time we actually do the show. He does a lot of sh big promotion shows. Uh, and this is the only one that's like outdoor with the pavilion. But I haven't done it before. It was always on Memorial Day weekend. And I could never, I didn't want to work on Memorial Day weekend. Let's put it that way. And uh, so he put it the week before now. And now I can do it. So that's good. Uh, so, but, oh, and Don put out Dunkin' Donuts. If you saw the video, I had the churro donut. <laughs> it's not that great. It's not that great. But, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is, I don't know, you guys are from all over, some some from all over the world. Uh, has Dunkin' Donuts gone downhill? I don't know. To me, it seems, I, I don't go there that often. I'm not supposed to. But, it seems like it's gone downhill from the old days. I don't know. I hear they don't make the donuts there no more. Remember the commercial where the guy used to make the donuts? I hear they get shipped in now, so they can't be as fresh as they used to be. But anyway, uh, and they seem a little smaller too, so. But uh, if you're going to get the churro donut, it's no big deal. 
So may I save you a trip? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the video, like I said, uh, there's a lot of great stuff in that show. I, I thought one of the most interesting things was the wild thing. Uh, one of, and it turned out to be a guy I knew. So I walked up to this table, he saw in the video, and there's a young guy behind the table, and uh, he had some nice, interesting autograph stuff. And one of the things was like a, a shadow box of the wild thing with the ball. And as I'm doing it, uh, I guess the guy that actually owned the table, who I've known for years, used to buy autographs for me at the store, pops in and says, oh, what's going You know, what's going on? And I, it was his table. So that was fun. You know, I hadn't seen him in a couple of years. Uh, so, uh, and that was it. Uh, we did, did make a decent profit, nothing gigantic, but it was a decent profit after all expenses. Uh, probably one of the better shows I do even though it's a smaller show, you know. Uh, so it was fun, a lot of fun. I was tired when I came back. <laughs> and I have, I have nothing bad to report. That crowd is fantastic. Uh, at one, one other good thing, Paul from our kitchen table box break, Paul and Janet, their grandson was right next to us, and he was doing his first show ever. He's still in high school, and he uh, he killed it. He he brought some nice stuff. Geez, he had I think he had two or three bulky autographs in the case, so and he did well. Yeah, I think he did more than me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but that's good. So he's all happy. Yeah, and uh, he had a lot of fun too. I think. Yeah, and it's it's nice to see a young kid with some work ethic because he actually probably had to get up. Oh, geez, early, because we had to sort of be there by 8 o'clock to set up. So it's nice to see some of the young people still have a little bit of work ethic out there. All right, we're going to go right to the box break. Here we go. So we got 2021 Goodwin Champions. It's got, well, it says exclusive bonus pack inside. Here it is. Seven packs, five cards per pack. And, oh, it says, may contain time-sensitive redemptions. I hope we don't get, like, a uh, Jordan autograph redemption. I don't know. Oh, that might be bad. Uh, and they got blaster exclusive, collector base set, turquoise parallels, all good one, all-world basketball cards from every box. I don't think they guarantee you nothing, though. It's, but there's an exclusive bonus pack inside, so let's see. With Upper Deck, you never know. So that could be seven... With the exclusive uh, pack, or it could be just seven including that, because you hockey guys know a lot of times they say bonus pack and they lie. <laughs> All right, this one opens from the side. All right, here we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Typical upper deck. I'll show you. Seven pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the bonus. That's your seventh pack. All right, so you look at it, you might say it's a little bit misleading, but what are you going to do? So we're going to save the bonus pack for last. All right, wish me luck because it says all new big autographed hits, platinum variants, and legendary ship relics. I wouldn't mind that. That's something different. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh. All right, Goodwin Champions. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I got something good already. Michaela Schifrin. She's a skier. She's going to get anything in this. We got John Montero basketball. We got a Coco Golf. She's a tennis player. I don't know if I'm saying these names right. And a Chloe Kim snowboarding. And then these are nice inserts, and they actually sell for decent. I wouldn't be surprised. I got to look this one up. They're all different prices. If this one actually pays for the box, because I only paid $10, but I got a Fuga, four diamonds. And I don't know what these are, who these guys are or nothing, but they do sell. You know, I know they do sell. Even the cheap ones are usually at least five bucks. They're very nice cards, very nice artwork. And, uh, like I said, this, this is a mishmash of stuff, but that's kind of weird to be in with 
is usually just a, a mainly a sports product, but all right, let's see. We got a golfer. We got a Matthew Wolf from golf. Yeah, Josh Giddy's in this. <laughs> Get a Red Gerard snowboarder, a Bayron Laura baseball, and a Mojave King basketball. All right. This is 2021, so I'm thinking, especially if these guys are college, if they haven't made it yet, they might not be that great. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, this guy is, well, he's still in college. Okay. Ryan Whitney. He's a media personality. Well, we got Tiger Woods. Oh, and I got, I got something nice coming, I think. It's not numbered, though. It's a red refractor type of thing. Ryan Whitney, media personality. I don't know. We got to check it out. Oh, we got a Michael Jordan. That's what I wanted. Michael Jordan. There we go. Can't go wrong with Michael. Too bad that Michael wasn't the red. <laughs> and we got a Roberto Campos. That's all right. We still got three packs in the bonus pack to go. So I'm still in the hunt. All right. We got a Carlos Calamanares baseball player. We got a Teofimo Lopez boxer. Another John Montero from basketball. And we got Ben Simmons. Oh, and John Taffer, the bar guy. <laughs> bar Rescue. I used to watch that show once in a while. When you see that show, and then that Gordon Ramsay has a show, it's amazing how dumb some people can be running businesses. It's terrible. <laughs> but anyway. I got another Tio Mofio Lopez. We got a Pete Buttigieg. Oh, Jesus. They got to have politicians in here, too. All right. Got another Josh Giddy, a different one. Splash of Color. Oh, that's an insert. Splash of Color, Josh Giddy. We got a Red Gerard snowboarder. <clears throat> and we got a Jonathan Kaminga. All right. I think I'm doing okay for the price I paid. Jeez. It's hard not to do okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got a Jess Lockwood. He's a rodeo guy. Got a Bryson DeChambeau golfer. Got a Sarah Winter. A lot of golf this time. Sahith Tigawa. He's a golfer. And we got a Melissa Humana Paredes Beach Volleyball. And now we got the bonus pack. Look, there's more than one card in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are all teal. And there's, oh, I think I did good. So we got a Vanessa Hansen. She's a model. These are all teal. Got a Sarah Pavin. She's a beach volleyball. Oops, I'm getting it. We got a Matthew Wolf. He's a golfer. We got a Toby Miller snowboarder. And this is the one, I think. This might be the best card in the box. It's a uh, Goodwin Champions All Word Foil. Sabrina Ionescu. And I know she's pretty good. That's what I, I believe anyway. I think I, I know who she is. <laughs> so she might pay for the box or more. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes those women basketball players go for a lot of dough. We'll put that right there. And that's our box break. For $10, we had some fun, right? Yeah, not bad at all. Put that back in there. Oh, okay. All right. So... And that's about it. Actually, the video is not going to be that long. It's only 34 minutes so far. I'm going to be probably doing it under 40 minutes. Not bad. All right. So we're getting ready to close it up. 
Uh, we, we're going to go, we'll be back to the regular format for Saturday because there's no shows again until the third Saturday. So that's a couple of weeks, uh, almost, well, less than a couple of weeks from now, but that's coming up the following week, I guess. All right, so here we go. So if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, we got a chance for these prizes. And I sort of mixed them up sport-wise because that was a mixed sport box. And even we got politicians. So first out of the box is going to get a 2021-22 Panini Contender Basketball Pack. Second out of the box is going to get the hit five-star trophy room Joe Burrow rookie. Third out of the box is going to get a 1979 Topps All-Star Reggie Jackson card. And fourth out, I found this one. Fourth out of the box, this is definitely a multi-sport card. It's, uh, I think it's a promo. I don't know if it's from any card company, but it's interesting. New Kids on the Scene. So this is from the early 90s, at least. Uh, it's got Eric Lindros, Emmett Smith, and Todd Van Poppel on it. So they were the new kids, the new rookies. Everybody was looking for them. And I don't remember everybody was looking for Todd Van Poppel. Uh, two of them out of three made it. That's not bad. You know, so not bad. Two out of three. Could have been all three that were bust, but two out of three actually made it. And that's our prizes. All you got to do is comment on this video. And on Saturday, you got a chance to win these prizes here. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah. So, don't forget our eBay, Sports PG on eBay. We're getting close to six. I think we're getting closer to 16,000 items. It's S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G uh, on eBay. And then COMC. We've got a lot of stuff on there. I keep listing stuff. 46, 47,000 items, something like that. Most under a dollar. And that's uh, C, uh, Mr. MR95 Cents on uh, comc all right we'll see you guys later we'll see it well we'll see you friday for the rare finds and then saturday for our regular video so thanks a lot for tuning in don't forget collect what you like because if it goes up or down you still like it and try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting at is stuff really ain't been worth it lately all right take care everybody have a good one